What's up? Welcome back, guys, to episode 10 of Nightmare from the Deep. In the last episode, we had a little bit of trouble trying to figure out what to do, but ultimately we worked it out and we got the... We got a necklace? I'm not sure if it's like his necklace or if this is a different one. Basically, it's broken and we have to reassemble it to create, um, to create Mary's necklace. And it's going to sit in here. Um, so we got the necklace pattern. Uh, and we got to make her a new necklace. Now, I, I don't know why she has one as well. So I'm thinking maybe they both made a pact to Davy Jones and they're both cursed or something. Um, not exactly sure, but it's kind of interesting. Um, uh, the story is definitely is taking some different turns that I wasn't expecting. In fact, I didn't, I honestly, when I f went to play this, I didn't expect to be on an island. Um, I thought we'd be in the museum most of the game. Ah, so this is pretty cool. So yeah, let's, let's get to it. Let's make this necklace. Um, okay, so we got this. We need to make that symbol. Cool. Um... Oh no, that doesn't go there. This has a middle piece. This one doesn't. So that's not the piece. So same with that one. Uh this has a swoosh. But it's it's also is that hold on. Go look through. It's like the top. So the top's like so we got a bottom part which is that. Not that. <laughs> Not that. Yeah, I think that's one. Not that one. He's just carrying around a bunch of uh, gemstone necklace pieces <laughs> to make a bunch of different ones. Uh, yeah, I think that one goes here. Yep. Okay, and then not that one. That goes here, and we got this one. Yeah. All right, easy. Who is it? Oh, I like this blue one much better. All right, place it in here. Yeah, I think they both made some kind of some kind of deal. So I drain that. Hey. Oh. It's right here. Is this where it's going down? <laughs> oh, it's the flash. Hi. <laughs> yeah, see, here he has a. He has his necklace. So that was a different one. So they must have both made a deal. I have to admit, you don't give up easily. I'm this close to bringing my love back to life, and I don't have time to bother with you right now. You dare to say she wouldn't want to be resurrected? That's nonsense. It's the only I, way we I can don't be know. together after all these years. If you think you're so Bring me proof that my beloved doesn't want to return. <laughs> you will have to summon her ghost, you fool. You know, he's more reasonable than I expected him to be. <laughs> Alright, you, you don't think I can talk to her ghost? Well, turns out I have been. Also, you got some electricity. Uh, you left your electricity on over there. I wanna. I wanna just like maybe tend tend to that. Uh, I'll be back. Oh, what's this? Oh, g'day. 
Grabby portrait piece. They're right there. Uh, three gold bars. Oh, one, two, three. A scepter. Scepter. A crown, right? Yeah. An admiral bust, right here. Oh, is that not it? Oh, that scared me. A hey. royal apple. That's this uh, goblet right there. Sword. There's a sword. An amber chest. Oh, yeah. A Buddha. Buddha. A sphinx. Sphinx right here. And then a cross. And then a cross. Alright, we got the final portrait. Well, now we're about to show you. It's up here. The Mayan calendar. That's this thing. Glass bottle. Pickaxe. Right here. A cork right here. A wicker basket right here. Pine cone. Uh, this, this thing. A frame. Right here. A shell. Right here. A jewelry box. Right here. Scarab. There. Tooth. There. A bust. Right there. Will you give me that? Oh, okay. That's what we're going to use to lift up the tile, isn't it? Alright. Let's do that. Give me this. Mm. Oh, a coin. You know, that's actually a pretty good hiding spot. Like, if this was all intact. Now, no one would ever think to lift up a, a tile. That's a pretty good hiding spot, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Let's. Let's put the coin in first, and then we'll do the portrait. We've only got two more left. Baron Bannister was claimed victorious for killing Remington and his nefarious crew. The Baron capitalized on his success by forcing his daughter to marry the captain of the Royal Navy. Mary endured a childless and unhappy marriage with the old dull soldier. Uh. When her spouse eventually died, Mary, now a wealthy widow, decided to return to Scotland. I mean, it turned out alright. We got money, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Is he tricking me? Are we gonna like bring the portrait and it's gonna have a spirit and we're gonna like, he's gonna be like, ha ha, thank you. You brought me the thing that I need to finish this spell. And we done played into his hand. And she was tricking us and they're both evil. That would be a pretty good twist. Is eternal, but people are so fragile. I need to talk with Henry before he makes a mistake. Take me to my captain. By not using the portrait in his thing, that's the mistake, and you're gonna. You're both gonna get resurrected or something. 
Because I just, I just assembled her necklace. Uh-oh. Did I just, did I just make things worse? Alright. I doubt. She was actually telling the truth. Okay, all right. Wasn't some weird twist. Um, were you now angry and you're gonna kill everyone? I was so blind and selfish. After all this time, she still only wants that I give up on this cool and vengeful life. She wanted an ordinary man, not a legendary criminal. Rather than resurrecting her, I should join her in the afterlife. Perhaps she is waiting for me there. Hmm, I mean, I mean he's actually a rather reasonable person. Alright. Well, good on you for, for admitting that you were wrong. Takes a big man. Find those twelve cursed doubloons and bring me my deposit. The only thing that can make me a mortal man again. Or oh, he's playing me. Or oh, he's like actually like playing the long game and bring the chest and <laughs> maybe they need two souls. I don't know. I'm just suspicious. <laughs> Um, I don't trust this dude. Uh, mended dress. Ah. Okay. A necklace. Uh, oh, that's something. This. A picture. Uh, yeah. A horn. And a horn. Yep. A gold plate. A bandage thing. So ah, bandage. Swans. Yep. Boot right here. Gold fork. Dagger. Gold fork. And then urn. Yeah, ticket away urn. Ah, it's the urn. Right. I completely forgot about this. <laughs> um, okay. Let's do that. Then, shall we? These columns of urns must must have been arranged in a logical sequence. I should try to recreate that sequence. Okay, well we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so these go one, two, three. Okay, let's do that. One. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then we have this dots. So then all the dots go over here. And then all the broken ones here. Okay, broken red dots, lag. Flags, uh, ships, 
Yeah, that's right. Uh, chips. So wait, swords? Do the swords have to also align? Like this? Hey. Okay, that's where the queen is. Mystical pearl. Okay, so we got another coin. And is that it? We need one more. One more coin. Um. Where'd the other one be? Are we missing anything? That's objectives. Done the urns. Both doubloons. Rescue daughter. Okay. Yeah. That's it? Find those twelve cursed doubloons and bring me my deposit. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know what the pearl's for. I assume it's for getting the last last coin. Someone has taken oh. the body. Oh, what the? <laughs> That's oh. I didn't even notice that that changed. Wait, someone took the body? Huh? Wait, did he take? Right, okay, so this there's something sus going on. Hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna open this and there's some something bad's gonna happen. This is like the final boss. <laughs> All right, here's your coin. Even though Skull Island was now a sad and dreary place, memories of happier times came back to Mary as she started wandering the familiar grounds. Mary used the money she inherited to build a crypt for her and her captain if his body was ever found. Soon after that, the lonely Mary died. According to her wishes, she was buried at the new crypt. Right. The final point. Meanwhile, as the centuries passed, the immortal Captain Remington lay at the bottom of the sea. Broken-hearted, stripped of his enchanted weapons, and weighted down by shackles and corals. The only person who could make him happy was dead. The only thing which could redeem him, a gift for the bride, was still in the cursed chest on his galleon. Remington grew weaker and weaker under the sea, waiting for a chance to set things right. Wait, so he was alive under the sea the whole time? Right, because he he was wearing the necklace when they found him. Damn, that kind of sucks. Can you imagine that? Oh, that's messed up. Wow. All right. Is that it? Open the chest. The doubloons, but have you found the pearl? Oh yeah. Okay, so that's what that's for. All right, what do we got inside? Oh, <laughs> oh, it's like the the chest from Pirates of the Caribbean. Dead men's chest. Got his heart. Ah, maybe. Okay, so he needs his heart to like actually make himself alive, and I was tricked into getting it. Is that what? Is that what's happening? I'm just sus of this guy. <laughs> it fe it feels too easy. He just he just was like, "Yep, she was right." I'm I have changed my mind. All right. He's 
gone. Uh, hello? Oh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I was wondering what it was doing. It was dying or something. Uh, um. Just go. Put your heart back inside ya. I guess. Uh, uh, excuse me. Oh. Wait, is it? Uh, you're welcome. Wait, is that? <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> Oh, he got snapped by Thanos. My dear, are you all right? Wait, what? Oh, I right. <laughs> maybe maybe I'm just cynical. Maybe I just I just didn't believe him. I didn't trust him. <laughs> all right. Are we cursed now? Is something? See, I just us. us. No, that was it. Ah, okay. I didn't expect that to be the end. I thought there was... I thought it was going to be like a twist or something. Yeah, I thought... I thought it might be like a little twist. Um, that... Wow, I say twist. I say... I... Kind of expected more that... Maybe we'd fight him at the end. Like maybe he was being deceptive or something. But no, no. We saved him. He was a man of his word. He actually ended up being pretty honourable. Which, which, as you as you play through the the story, um, you can see that like the the different characters were saying like he's changing and stuff. Like his old crewmates were like, ah, he's he's grown soft and uh, and that sort of sort of thing. So it was cool. Like, uh, it, it almost like foreshadowed that he was a man of his word anyway. Um, which I guess you know I, I was being a little bit. Who is he gonna be? But I'm, I'm kind of, I'm more suspect just because stories like to do that sort of thing, have a bit of a twist. Um, but I really like this story. Uh, it was definitely geared towards a more female demographic, which was good. I haven't played many games that are geared that way. Um, just because the games that I play are definitely targeted at a male demographic. Um, but it's cool because for a male, male demographic and story, often they'll have it you fight the big baddie at the end and you win by conquering them or defeating them in some way uh, but this was different instead you save them and that's a i like that message because you don't always have to kill bad guys to to be victorious and stuff you can take alternative routes and that's um a great message to also see um portrayed in the game now I, I said it was a female demographic game and i say that because of one we play as a female um, protagonist but also uh, that type of story uh, often uh, what appeals to a and and actually I'd be interested to know whether this is actually true but from what I found uh, women when they play games uh, or they are engaged in a story they like the stories that see them helping people and saving people and uh, it's cool to see that different kind of dynamic and choice of storytelling and uh, yeah, and I, I really enjoyed it as well, so it's not just a story written only for women in mind, if, even if that was the original intention, it can still be appealing to, to uh, other audience as well. Like, for example, my favourite aspect of this game is the visual style. I love the art direction. Look, I just discovered that you could click the jellyfish. Um, yeah, so I, I love the art style. Yeah, the, the art style that does a really good job of kind of immersing you into the entire experience with like the the ship and the fish and stuff swimming around and just like the the subtle movement of everything uh just gives it like this feeling like this alive feeling and stuff so i really like that aspect of it the visual art style and all that sort of stuff the painted effect really cool uh, additionally the puzzles 
Some of them were difficult, like there were things that I just missed. So I'm gonna, when I play the next game, I'm gonna be... Oh actually, no, we have another part to this. Yeah, when I, when I play the next part, I'm gonna be paying more attention to if I miss anything. And uh, make sure I click on everything. That stumped me like three times playing this. Um, and yeah, the puzzles were cool. Uh, some made me think. Uh, some of them were easy as well. So it was a, it was a good mixed bag. It got good reviews um, when I when I looked it up to to purchase it. So uh, those reviews were definitely honest. This is a great game. So if you like this series, we're gonna be uh, there's gonna be another episode after this uh, where we're going to. Oh, there might be a couple more episodes uh, after this because we've got the extras content, which has a bonus adventure. So I'm not sure how long this goes for. Uh, it'd be cool. It might be a whole, whole another nine, ten episodes, um, which would be awesome. Uh, so yeah, we'll come back to it for the bonus adventure in the next episode. Um, so yeah, I guess I won't end the series here because we still have to do this part. Uh, we'll do the bonus adventure. So I guess we'll do that in the next episode. So if you guys have enjoyed this series so far, if you enjoyed the story uh and you know I'd, I'd like to hear your opinion on the game so far um if you've played it uh i'd love to hear what your take is whether you enjoyed it uh and actually what demographic you are if you're um i mean maybe you don't have to say it but yeah i'm, I'm curious to see what people what people thought of this game uh, and if they enjoyed it, if there's other games that aren't of this, um, of this particular series, like it's not Nightmare from the Deep, but it's like a similar sort of game, I'm definitely interested to, uh, hear if there's any recommendations, because I'll, I'll definitely be keen to check out some other series. I know there's, like, a, a more Sherlock Holmes type investigator game in the same vein so i might check that out as well um but yeah if you like this video leave a like uh drop your comments down the comment section i'll read through them and see uh what you guys think about this and we'll be back in the next episode to check out the bonus adventure so until then thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode